unlike the NFC, the AFC is top heavy as fuck, and we know who's going to be in the championship game. It's just whether or not it's in Arrowhead or whether it's in Foxborough. But we've got some de- still got some decent teams here, starting with you were not expecting this, the Oakland Raiders. <laughs> Everyone thought they would be dog shit again this year, but you can't. You just don't add that much talent and not get better. And people forget that every year teams get better and teams get worse. So I like what John Gruden is doing. I love that they're just running the fuck out of the ball, hitting play action with Derek Carr, who is three years removed from being an MVP candidate in that season until he broke his leg. They they had a bye until he broke his leg, right? So you gotta you got to take that into account, but... You know, if this is the NFC, they're not making the they're not making the list. But you know, they're not a bad football team. And here's where it really gets interesting. At at number four, the Buffalo Bills. Really, the only team that has given New England any kind of trouble this year, and they gave them all they could fucking handle. The Bills did not. I mean, I mean, the Patriots did not win that game. The Bills lost that game, right? They did everything in their power to lose that game, and it came down to a blocked field goal. That's how good this roster is. It's just, I was expecting a huge jump from Josh Allen this year. I I really was. I thought he would be phenomenal this year, but he's just been a momentum shifter, whether it's for his team or the other team, and that's not good. And instead of, you know... A, a great team for many years to come. I just see another Jags, Bears kind of team where the defense is going to carry them for a year. Then they're going to be back to the bottom of the league. So enjoy this shit <laughs> for the rest of the year unless Josh Allen really picks it up. So at number three, all right, listen. Everyone right now is talking about Russell Wilson being – the MVP and Patrick Mahomes repeat MVP, but if the season ended today, Deshaun Watson is winning the MVP, <laughs> and and it's not a fucking question for me. Like this guy, people he gets overshadowed, I think, because of Mahomes, but Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes will own the AFC for the next ten years once Brady is gone. I mean that that's just gonna happen. Deshaun Watson is that fucking special that he carried the worst offensive line in the league last year to 11 games. That's fucking ridiculous when you think about it. The worst offensive line in the league, 11 games and a 10-game win streak. That is unheard of. And, I mean, this is my favorite player in the league by a mile. I, I just, I cannot get enough of Deshaun Watson. He is just... He is just unbelievable. He really is magic. Mahomes is Mahomes is magic, but but Watson is just as just as bit as magical as Patrick Mahomes. And if you give this man an offensive line, could you imagine? I mean, he would have already won a Super Bowl at this point, right? All right. Now to the two teams we all knew were here and I'll put Kansas City at 2 right now just because Mahomes has a bad ankle. They're really 1A, 1B, honestly. We don't really know who New England is because their defense has played a lot of shitty quarterbacks, and they're going to play a lot of either young or shitty quarterbacks coming up. So we really don't know what New England is until they have the stretch of Baltimore, Philly, Dallas, Chiefs, Texans. They're going to have a tough stretch. But until then, they're going to be giving up six points a game, right? And the Chiefs, you just got to hope Mahomes' ankle gets better before you play New England because that's probably going to be for the one seed. 